Welcome back to another Sunday video with me, Simon. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and have had a wonderful week up until this point. And we're officially here, as the video title suggests. This is the two-month slash seven-week check-in uh, on April the 11th, day before gyms reopened and terraced seating, but like restaurants, whatever. Um, I said that I was going to kind of see what I could do to my body over two months and document it, and, well, here we are. So... Uh, I've kind of been trying to figure out what, ha like, what I wanted this video to to look like in terms of what what do I cover, what do I talk about, that sort of thing. So, what I'll dive into and kind of talk about is how I uh, approach this because obviously those of you that may have have seen some older content and we'll we'll cover some pictures later. But twenty twenty, I lost uh, a lot of weight, like a substantial amount. I mean. Technically speaking, it started in October 2019, where at my absolute heaviest, I was 16 stone 11 pounds, whatever that works out to. I think that's like 107 kg. Don't know how much it works out to in overall pounds. Let's uh, 234 pounds is what that actually works out to. So, yeah, that was when I was at my heaviest, and I kind of went, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a do something about this. So I started tracking what I was eating. Um, ate less, moved more. That was kind of the the overall gist of it. Really got into the gym. Uh, Chris, one of my best friends, is a personal trainer. Um, so and it was a good way for me to reconnect with him. So we would like hang out, catch up, while going to the gym. That all kind of happened, and then obviously you know the plague arrived, and then there was lockdown here and unlocked down here, and do 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 do. So it was it was very hard to keep on top of things because. You know, you'd start plan, and then you would get to a point. So the way that we kind of worked it, like Chris is um, very much more into like his strength training. So we would work strength race programs where we would kind of do a set program for like six to eight weeks, do like a test, and then we'd do a new plan because you want to you want to keep the body guessing. You don't want to stick and do the same thing over and over and over again because the body gets very efficient at doing that and it it learns and it adapts. So if you're not constantly pushing it and changing it, you're not going to get growth you're not going to get as much benefit so uh, we approached this in the element of we knew we were going to be weaker uh, I knew I was going to be weaker I wasn't going to be hitting any kind of like numbers immediately so the plan was just try and get back to where I was in in essence um, which I can recall it because I do a lot of tracking in in his uh, in his app. I'll, I'll make sure to post like his Instagram and uh, all of Chris's handles in the description of this video. Because if you're in like the southeast of, of the UK, like you know, message him, check him out. He's you know he he knows his stuff, you know. Um, but where I was, and I'm not throwing out these numbers in terms of any kind of arrogance. It's I'm a very goal orientated and driven person, right? So. I want to set myself goals and I want to track that progress in accordance to that goal. So circa December, let me go back to it on the app actually. Bubba Bench Press. So if I go back all the way to the 5th of October 2020. Um, so the 5th of October 2020, uh, I had a one rep max of 60 kilograms on the barbell bench press. Now, technically, I went... 72.5 but it was ugly and it was horrible and yeah no so i don't count it uh i mainly kind of measure my progress in my compound movement which is a bench press a bubble squat and a deadlift so i just realized i forgot to talk about the actual weight so uh i obviously covered my barbell bench in terms of what i had hit before this was me hitting 67.5 and you're going to get the uh, wonderful raw audio to kind of embarrass myself. Because, uh, yeah, should have covered it in the first take, Simon. You moron. On the 7th of June... Uh, we hit a, a personal best of 95 kilograms and I wasn't happy with the first one so I did it again like I didn't feel I went low enough so 
you know, at certain points during this this two months since since April, I remember getting crushed by 80 kilograms, and I was like, man, like I am so far away because my previous best was 92.5 on a squat. Um. And I remember getting crushed on 80. I was like, man, I have like severely lost muscle because the way the body works is, yeah, it will pu- it will pull from fat, but it will also pull from pull from muscle. Like it will basically just pull any available energy to 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 use essentially. That's why like really insane dieting is is dumb. And um, we'll get into calories and all that a little bit later. Uh, and then we have deadlift, which was when and I I did pull it. Yeah, I thought I did. Um, seventh of June, same day for the testing. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, it mentioned it there. My one rep max of one hundred and twenty kilograms. Um, so yeah, I've pulled one twenty kilograms. My current goal with the deadlift is to pull one forty. Now that's a long way away to get to that point, but if I can keep my body weight around where it is now, that will literally be double my body weight, and that just seems really dumb and impressive to me like being able to pull your body weight off the floor uh, or double it at least um squat i want to go i want to get 100 like that's my next immediate term goal i think that's the one i'll hit earliest and then bench press i want to get back to, to 75 the goal was to obviously you've seen now the end results the goal was to get back to as close as we were before the lockdown and obviously losing four months worth of, of muscle so for the first like 30 days i was in the gym every day like every day we were running um a push pull legs rest plan so three days on one day off three days on one day off uh and i think that was to try and get back to where we were as fast as possible and then on the rest day i was going in and doing like 20 minute core sessions so at the end of 30 days my body was absolutely spent and wrecked so we switched over to a slightly different plan where i was actually taking that rest day as a rest day um and so we were still doing the three days on one day off but tapering it back a little bit and actually using the rest day as a rest day we've just started now this week being the first one where we are doing uh, four days a week and the weekend is entirely a rest but we do compound movements monday tuesday thursday friday mornings and accessory work monday tuesday wednesday thursday evenings so it's still like it's what eight sessions over the course of the week whereas we were doing six before so it actually worked out to be to be more essentially and obviously i can go in and do more if, if i want to but they're the sessions that we're doing together so uh yeah that's kind of what i do in terms of tracking where i was in terms of overall progress as i say as a goal driven person like writing this stuff down has been huge for me to kind of keep me focused because there can be days as well like i mentioned that day where i got crushed by 80 you know i got absolutely crushed by an 80 and then there was a day I went in and did three reps of 90 and was like, oh, this is incredible. This is amazing. Went in the next leg session, like four days later, couldn't even do 90. I was like, what? what is this? Like, and it's just down to body recovery. Like, you get, you're going to get those days. Um, I've just fallen in love. Like, tell this to a guy, to, tell this to me two years ago, going, like, hey, you're going to fall in love with going to the gym and working on yourself. I'd have, I'd have told you where to go, essentially. So... Uh, yeah, in terms of like how I have looked, um, let me switch over to Google Photos. There he is. Look at him. There's me in my bathroom. So this is the 13th of April. So this was like, I should have done it Monday morning, but I didn't. So here it is, Tuesday morning. Uh, you know, not not looking too bad. Not not looking too bad. Um, there's there's a little bit kind of poking out there, but that's kind of to to be expected. Um, there's obviously oh a classic classic bicep pose. Look at that, absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, that was like that's our reference point. That's where we were. Like how much of a difference did we make over our um over our two weeks? Two weeks? Two months? Yes, good work, Simon. Well, we took a check-in photo a week later. Yeah, so not not too bad. You're not going to see too much difference over the course of a week. Um, definitely looks a, a bit bit flatter, a bit fuller uh, in the in the stomach in that one. And then yeah, the classic bicep pose. I, I wanted to try and keep these as um, consistent as possible because that's where you're really going to see the most benefit. And then naturally, it went forever before I actually took a a picture again. Uh, you can see pictures of donuts, and we're gonna we're gonna get into that. So May. 
May I'm looking like, I don't know if it's the light in there, but I look exceptionally lean on the right hand side. Like you can see some of the bone coming through right here. Um, but yeah, there it is on the side. Guts looking a bit fuller maybe, but you can see kind of like ribs coming through here and like the bottom of an oblique right there. And then obviously the classic bicep, which is looking like looking like it's got a little bit of a gain or reform some of it. Maybe that's some, some fat coming off. And you can see some of the shoulder muscles coming through. Just in the other top right, look at the striation right there. It's beautiful. Uh, and then we have our final, which I did as a video. This was taken on the 6th or the 7th, whatever day it was. The 6th or the 7th of June. But yeah, I just wanted to do it as a video to kind of capture it, looking like, looking flatter. I, I carry a lot of my fat, you can see it there on the backs, back of like my hips, and my lower gut is where I carry a lot of my fat. Um, I don't actually carry a lot of fat in like my tricep and my upper back, which I definitely feel is the best parts of my physique now that I, now that I look at these. Um, but yeah, there it is, the bicep coming through, probably a little bit more that time around, mainly because I've got the arm raised a little bit higher. So... All in all, there's not really too much to, to tell. Like I say, like that looks a little bigger, but it could be I'm holding the arm higher. Uh, over on the side, it looks a bit flatter in, in comparison, but we definitely don't have the... Uh, it's hard to tell with the video because it is a slightly lower quality, but my point is we haven't changed a lot. Um, and in two months, you can do a lot. Um, now, basically, that will then tie into my additional point, which is food. Like, you could do all of this. You could absolutely smash it in the gym if you want to. But if you're not eating right, you're, you, you're going to get nowhere. You're really going to get nowhere. So I, because I have an addictive personality and I am slightly insane, uh, this is... Well, I mean, it says it yearly calories, and this is over and unders, and the dates for the months, and this is tracked all the way up to the sixth of June. Um, and what I did is I essentially have pulled all this data. Like I use uh, an app called NutriCheck. It's like a calorie counter, and essentially what I've got it to, I put my food in there, and it's tied on with my Fitbit, and my do all my fitness tracking with my Fitbit, and at the end of the day. It will give an over an over underscore, essentially. So like, oh, you were in a calorie deficit or a calorie surplus. Uh, let's use yesterday as an example. Uh, if I go back to the main camera real quick, there we go. So this is yesterday. So I haven't actually put this into the app as of yet. I would love for it to focus properly. So yeah, so I consumed 2,382 calories and I burnt 1,394 calories in accordance with my goal, um, like it calculated that based upon some bullshit numbers that I put in. But my left, you can't really see it very well there, 657. So I was in a 657 calorie deficit for yesterday. Now, the math indicates, let me flick over to here. So this is every day over that, that this period. So the science shows that there is roughly 3,500 calories in a pound of fat, right? So if we look at it in terms of my smart scale app, which I use every day, uh, not every day, sorry, every Monday. Uh, so if we go back to Monday the 13th, yeah, because I weighed in on the 13th, I ignore the body fat percentage on this completely because it's utter crap. But this is the 13th of April. And I was 10 stone 10. And if we go to Monday the 7th. I am 11 stone 3. Oh my god, I've, I've gained 6 pounds. Like, bad. You only want to see the, the scale go down. No. Not when you're doing what I'm doing. Uh, and we're going to get into this a little bit. So, um, I'm in a period now of body recomposition. My weight right now is very healthy for where I'm at as 5'9". Um, 
yeah, five, five, nine, 28 years old, the age doesn't really have anything to do with it. But five foot nine, um, 70.5 kilo or like 11 stone three is a perfectly healthy weight. Uh, I'm body recomping, so in terms of I kind of want to stay around that weight, I think 11 stone would be the perfect mark or whatever 70 kilograms works out to be. Um, but less fat, more muscle. So I, I'm recomping. So the best way to do that would be to eat in a very small calorie deficit um, every every day. That's going to be the easiest way to do it. Now, if we flick over back to the screen, um, these are my over and unders. So these days I was under by like 845 calories. So if we look at it here, like we are absolutely smashing it here, right? This period we are all on course. And then, you know, I was 2000 calories over. And then this day I was 500 over, and I'm like, man, that, that, that really sucked. That was a rough couple of days. Um, let's have some really good days, really good days. Like, if you want to see, like, the best form of a cut is 500 calories a day deficit, because 500 times 7, 3,500, you're losing a pound of fat a week. Uh, so got back on course and then had big cheat days, uh, or not, not a big cheat day, that is a ridiculous cheat day. Get back on it. But it's all a balancing act, right? Look at it this way. Um, this was bad. This this was a really bad day. That surplus, not so bad. But then, yeah, like, in essence, you, you can see where I'm going with this. I'm tracking it, I'm tracking it, I'm tracking it, I'm scrolling, scrolling, and we get to the bottom. So over the seven-week period, I consumed uh, 3,200, or sorry, 32,252 calories, and I burnt 26,223. So that left me in a surplus over this two months of 6,029 calories. If we go back to the science, it's 3,500 for a pound of fat, right? So I have gained uh, less than two pounds of fat, but I have gained fat, which I didn't want to do, um, which goes to kind of tie in with something else I'm going to talk about. Um, but I'm up six pounds, right? So we know that over five pounds of it, or over four pounds of it, is muscle. And... So that's good. That's what you want to see when you're killing yourself in the gym and pushing yourself and doing cardio like 20, 30,000 steps a day sometimes. Not all the time, but at least 10K minimum every day. Um, but yeah, like uh, I've, I've seen the progress and the, the recomp is not quick. Not quick at all. Um, and I think it kind of goes in like I noticed during, especially during some of these days, like this day this day this day stress eating i would eat for endorphins and um that's not healthy at all that's what got me in in fact i'm just gonna i'm just gonna show the picture at this point in the first place right and that that's not a good look that's january 2020 february 2020 march my hair looks nice there i'll give it that my hair looks good is May. Christmas boxes in May. I think that tells you all it needs to about me, in all honesty. Just to go back to a point as well. At this picture, I had already lost near two stone from my heaviest. Here's August of 2020. Here's like scale so this was when was this august 76.7 kilo september end of september 73 kilo as a quick sidebar my cat is just i love him but he's an arsehole November 2nd, 2020, just under 72 kilo. So Chris sent me this picture. Man, I look pale as hell. Chris sent me this picture on the 9th of May, um, which is a snippet of one of his workout videos. So this this one was like June or July of 2019, uh, and this was a couple of months ago. So if you slip up, if you fall, if you make small mistakes, you know... Just on on your journey, just well, I, I think I posted this on Instagram recently. Whether it's the journey or the destination that ultimately is what you're working for, 
and you're enjoying the most, never forget where you started. So like when I saw and did the numbers that I was in a calorie surplus for that two months, I was like, you've you've let everyone down, you've let yourself down, hold yourself accountable. Um, really, really honestly beating myself up about it. And don't get me wrong, I will do better. Like I am going to do these every two months and document it because that's kind of what this channel is becoming now. Like me enjoying video games and just documenting my, my life. Um, but I look at this and I go, well, man, look at what you've done. Look at what you've achieved. Be approach this in a healthy manner. Because again, I'll, I'll open up like there were points where I would eat something that I really wanted and I could burn it off in terms of calories. Like, you know, let's say a donut. You've seen pictures of donuts, right? I love donuts. I'm very weak to things like donuts and cookies, etc. Um, and I can burn it off like a donut, let's say for argument's sake, it's 500 calories. I can burn 500 calories, not, not really challenging. But I'd then be like, man, that could have been an easy, easy deficit. And it would it would it would get in there mentally, and I wouldn't I wouldn't call it an eating disorder. Um, some people probably would, I wouldn't, because I wasn't taking it to the extremes of like throwing up and that sort of stuff. But yeah, at the end of the day, just enjoy your life. Like your goals are your goals. Like part of me, in all honesty, part of me wanted to lose five stone, and I hit that. And then I was like, what if I lost six stone? I did that, and it's when I got to that six stone, the lowest I ever weighed was ten stone eight. Um, and I was like, well, I've, I've done it now. And that's why you've seen me really kind of like the weight's been down and up and down. And that's the thing. I can be in deficits for a couple of days, then have a day where I've really enjoyed what I'm eating and be like, okay, cool, let's get back on the grind. And it's great, but it's slowing down my overall result. So for the next few months, I'm really going to get on it. Um, but yeah, this is, I just wanted to, to talk and, and document this sort of stuff because if I can inspire uh, well, in fact, like, you know, if no one watches this video, it's out there on the internet. And if people find it and get information from it, then hey, good for them. I'm not going to pretend to know anything. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert in any stretch of the capacity. I picked up information from uh, Greg Doucette, Will Tennyson, Simon Miller. Uh, they're like three that jump out at me immediately. Of course, um, Chris is someone who's been in the in the industry for a while. And... I'm not going to lie. There's part of me that when like I started obviously like losing the weight and the pandemic happened um, and there is like a tiny part of me that from a vanity perspective are going to see people that haven't seen me since the start of 2020 and they're going to be like, dude, what? And I'm going to enjoy that moment. Like, I'm just going to be realistic. I'll be open and I'll say it, you know? But yeah, if people can take any inspiration from this, whatsoever then that would be that would just make my everything in all honesty uh, like a friend of mine messaged me the other day he sees what chris posts on his um on his instagram and it's getting him motivated and it gave me like this warm fuzzy feeling inside so yeah anyway this has been me ranting about me um for a little while i think i covered everything um i covered the food the calories uh progress pictures the fact that i'm going to do this again in another couple months time uh, and the the cheat day video is is yet to come um, because I did do a cheat day before this even though like leading up to it I was like I don't deserve it but I did say every month that's what I was going to talk about yes I'm glad that I've I've caught this before I ended so what I was doing is I was giving myself like a little something every day uh, just like oh you know you got through the day here's like your little treat have like two Oreos 140 calories whatever um, there'd be days where I would see how much of a deficit I was in, I'd be like, you can have more than two. And then before you know it, 10 are gone. And that deficit ain't as big anymore. So the way that I'm kind of rewarding myself now is uh, there's going to be one one video of a month where I do like a big big cheat day. Um, as you know, and that's like a day where it's out the window. Like I still track it. I still all put it into my app because I need to know the, the damage that I'm doing, right? And then uh, on Mondays, if if I've had a week where I've been in a calorie deficit every day, so that would be if I'm doing it on Mondays, so that would be Tuesday through Sunday. If I've been in a calorie calorie deficit every day, I give myself uh, I give myself a treat. Um, it doesn't need to be a ridiculous deficit. Like I say, just a couple hundred. Hell, it could be fifty for all I care. As long as it's a calorie deficit, just don't be too strict. Don't be dumb. Don't be stupid. You know, 
It's health and fitness. It's the first word that is the most important. Health. And that goes for mental and physical. Man, that's a great way to end this video. Uh, now, here we go. Plug, plug, plug. Leave a like if you enjoyed the comment and feedback down below. Um, I, I'll put my IG in there because, you know, I do post on there uh, every once in a while. But my IG, uh, all of Chris's information as well as team channel, Discord link, Twitter handles, all in the description below. Uh, and if you want to reach out to me, please do so on Discord or do so via uh, a Twitter DM. Um, I would love to hear people's stories and if they had any. Don't worry, this is not me going into the fitness tube space. Like, I, that's it's a, it's an interesting place. Um, but I just wanted to talk about this because I've become very passionate about it and I like to cover things that I'm passionate about. So, uh, until next time, I'll butcher my own outro. Whatever. Bye.